talking about the FileMaker data migration tool. So to begin migrating data, um, you'll need four things. You'll need the data migration tool itself, which on a Mac is this FM data migration executable. And on a Windows, it's going to be a series of files with the main file being this FM data migration file. The next thing you'll need is a source file. So this will be the file that has the data that you want to migrate. In many systems, this would be considered the live or the production file where the users are entering in their data. The next thing you'll need is the clone file. So this is the place where you want to migrate your data. In many systems, this would be considered the development file where you're making all of your changes. Um, so this actually needs to be a cloned file. So I'll just move that off to the side real quick. Um, so to clone a file, you would open it up you know, put in your credentials. So once you have it open, you click File, and then save a copy as, and then you would do Clone as the type. Click Save. Um, and then you don't want to open this, because if you open this clone file, the data migration tool will not work. The next thing you'll need is either terminal on a Mac or command prompt in Windows. And so this will be the thing that actually tells the data migration tool what to do. So once you have all four of these things, all you need to do is create the command to run in the command line. So I've created a small tool that allows you to create the command just a little bit more easily um, so you don't have to worry about you know, whether you're using the correct quotes or whether you mistype something. Um, so first you need to open up this tool I created. Um, hit New Migration, um, and that will allow you to start making your command. So um, this first one, you need to select the Migration Tool Path, which will just be the path to the FM Data Migration Tool. Uh, next, you need to select the Source Path. So that's going to be uh, our production file here. Which, by the way, our production file, just to show you, is purely data. There's no real layouts in here. It's just all development stuff, right? There's no functionality. It's just a, uh, um, it's really just all data, right? Um, we want to put in our source account name. So for this example, it's just admin and test. Um, and there's, there's no decryption key, but if you had your file encrypted, this is where you would put your decryption key. Um, next, we want to put in our clone information. Um, if your clone has the same account information as the source file, you can just click this button, and all of this will automatically fill in with this information. Uh, next, you do actually put in the clone path. So that's going to be this guy right there. Um, then we need the target path, which is where our um, new file is going to be placed. So we want to select the folder. In this case, it's just the desktop. And then I'll call it output file. Um, and then the extension automatically gets added on. I mean, you can change it if you want, but it's going to need to be an FMP12 file. Um, next is the mode. So in this case, we're going to use verbose. Um, the difference being um, verbose will show you a little bit more information about your migration as it's running, um, where quiet will just show you that it ran. So once we have all this information set up, we want to copy to our clipboard. And so we can do two things, right? We can copy to our clipboard, then we can open up terminal, and then we can paste in here. Uh, or if we're lazy, we just want to click run migration, it'll automatically open up terminal for us, put in the migration, and run it. All right, so if I go up here, I can view um, the migration. So this top part here is just relisting the parameters. Um, and once you have that, then it shows you the start time when it actually starts running. Here it shows you um, the mapping of the privileges. Um, here's where it maps um, the tables. Um, and then once you get down further, um, it maps the individual fields and the individual tables. And then this one right here is the actual migration where the, the data is being passed from one file to the other. Um, and at the, bar, at the very bottom, it'll show you summary information as well. Um, so I actually have my output file right here. So I open it. Um, so you'll see that all this information 
from our uh, production file was put into our clone. And now we have our functionality. Right? So we can go to layouts, we can view products. Um, it's yeah, it's uh, the, the accumulation of, again, the, the clone file and the data file. Um, and one more thing, this is actually, um, again, this works on the on Windows and Mac. So if we go to Windows, um, I already have all the stuff put in. But if I click Run Migration, it'll open up the command prompt, and it will run my command. And again, this is the summary information, so this just shows you um, that the accounts that were migrated, the tables that were migrated, um, it'll show you if any errors happened, that sort of thing. Um, so that is how to use the FileMaker data migration tool and also the small tool that I made in FileMaker that allows you to more easily run the migration.